This video will cover the topic rational exponents, negative exponents, and fractional bases. In this video, we will learn how to simplify numbers raised to negative exponents written as fractions, and how to simplify fractions raised to exponents written as fractions. Our first example will be a whole number raised to a negative rational exponent. Let's work out the problem. 25 to the negative 3 halves power. Our goal is to simplify this as much as possible and get rid of all the exponents. When we see a negative exponent, what is the first thing we want to do? I think we should use the negative exponent rule to rewrite this as 1 over 25 to the 3 halves power. Now I have to simplify the denominator. How exactly should I do that? We have to figure out 25 to the 3 halves power. In a rational exponent, the numerator is a power and the denominator is a root. So in our case, the denominator of 2 means a square root and the numerator of 3 means the third power. We can go either way with this. We can take 25 to the third power and then take the square root of that. Or we can take the square root of 25 first and then raise that to the third power. In this case, we will take the square root first and then raise to the power. We can rewrite the denominator as 1 over the square root of 25 raised to the third power. Oh, that makes sense now. I know the square root of 25. That's 5. Then I take 5 to the third power which is 125. So the final answer is 1 over 125. Very good. Now we will look at an example with a fractional base raised to a rational exponent. Let's take a look at 1 over 81 raised to the 3 fourths power. By the power of a quotient rule, the exponent distributes into both the numerator and denominator. So this can be rewritten as 1 over 81 raised to the 3 fourths power. Remember that 1 to the 3 fourths power is still 1. Let's do the same thing we did in the first problem and focus on the denominator, 81 to the 3 fourths power. Again, we could raise 81 to the third power and then take the fourth root of that. Or we could start with the fourth root. Let's start with the fourth root. We now write 1 over the fourth root of 81 raised to the third power. Do you know how to find the fourth root of 81 and then raise that to the third power? Yes, the fourth root of 81 is 3. So now the fraction is 1 over 3 to the third power. 3 to the third power is 27. So the final answer is 1 over 27. Am I right? Yes, you are. Great job. So to solve these problems, if I see a negative exponent, I always want to start by applying the negative exponent rule and then when I have an exponent written as a fraction, then the denominator is a root and the numerator is a power. Great explanation. 